when you create the LLC that owns the property, typically in that operating agreement, there's going to be two paragraphs, one with a choice of law and one with a choice of forum. And so that means that if you get sued or if any of the members of the LLC want to sue you, they have to do it in the choice of forum. So typically what I did when I set up all of my entities is I made the entity that owned the property in Kentucky a Massachusetts LLC. And the choice of forum and the choice of law was Massachusetts. Because I didn't want to get sued by um, uh, one of my members and have to go to Kentucky to, to defend myself. I wanted to stay right here in Massachusetts. So when the people, when your investors are signing the operating agreement and becoming a member of the LLC, they're also saying that they agree with that choice of form and that choice of law. Now, if you look at a purchase and sale agreement, a purchase and sale, practically all contracts have choices of law and choices of form provisions in them. Now, with a purchase and sale contract, typically what we say is that um, the the law and the forum for any conflicts between the buyer and the seller will be in the state and the county that the property is located in. And that's that's very good because that give, both parties have nexus to that location. They both want to do business in that location. One of them already is doing business and one of them is trying to do business. So that just makes sense that that's, that's the right location. You know, in, in the insurance program, and one of the issues was, what's the choice of forum and the choice of law? Now, the way I drafted it is I said the, the, um, the plaintiff for any action has to choose, has to use the forum and law of where the defendant is. So he's in Michigan. I'm here in New Hampshire. If I'm not happy with something that's going on and I'm going to sue him, I have to go to his backyard to sue him. And then he has to come to my backyard if he wants to sue me. It's kind of a, a, a way to prevent lawsuits. Neither one of us want to go do that. So let's solve our problems like gentlemen. Uh, so that's another way. So that's that's you know that's how you now you you might be thinking to yourself, what's the difference between choice of law, and choice of form? Okay, that's exactly it. And and you know, using Delaware as a perfect example, we can choose Massachusetts or New Hampshire as the forum, but we can use Delaware law to to decide the issues because Delaware's LLC laws are more. Uh, vetted than New Hampshire's are. So we're going to meet in New Hampshire, but the judge is going to have to decide using D Delaware law. And the two the, the uh, two counsels, uh, the opposing counsels, will help the judge understand the law by writing briefs, you know, in support of their their uh, their argument. So that's that's how it all works.